Oh. 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 Does this look all right to you? No. This is a case for investigation. Ouch. It's not. What is it? Where does it come from? And most importantly, since it's so delicious, why has nobody started a snot restaurant? Well, I've come to Cardiff University's School of Biosciences to find out. Achoo! This is Dr Kelly Barube, and she's a snot expert. Kelly, what is snot? Snot is a, it's a natural polymer that you create. There's these little cells on all the mucous membranes that line all the areas of your body that are exposed to the outside. This isn't real snot, but it's a special mixture that Dr Kelly has made to show exactly why it needs to be so sticky. Anywhere where invaders, proteins, bacteria could get in, you need to have this material to keep them off. See, you're sticking to it now. It's like flypaper. So you inhale, boom, it sticks on there, and then the defender cells will say, that shouldn't be in here, it goes in and kills them. Or you sneeze it, spit it, or swallow it. Just gotta get out of the body. A mucus like this protects all the areas of your body that are connected to the outside world. So you make mucus in your nose, in your mouth, all the way through your gut to your bum, also in your lungs, and also covering your eyes. And mucus lubricates things, so when you have a poo, that's lubricated, and it serves to lubricate your tongue so you can speak. If you've got a dry mouth, you can't speak. And your eyeballs so they can move around in their sockets. Snot is actually nasal mucus, and when it dries, it creates bogies. But why do they taste salty? Well, it's because snot contains a lot of chemicals, and one of them is salt. Hmm, that's handy to know for my snot restaurant menu. Your spit also contains snot, and it's full of bacteria-killing chemicals too. If all day, when you're well, if you spat all your snot and blew your nose into a jar, you'd end up with, yes. with this completely yep. full. Yep. So we yep. think it's really disgusting, but we're swallowing this stuff yes. the whole time. Yeah, you need so it, yeah. is it okay to pick my nose and eat it? Science and the theory says that if you pick your nose, because it has bacteria in it, and you eat it, you're spiking your immune system. So no, there you so go. Uh... Straight from the expert, yeah. it is okay to eat your bogey. Well, I'm going to start so, right away. Yeah, I'm going to say socially it might not be acceptable, but oh. if you're a closet bogey eater, Chris, which I'm sure you are, then it's <laughs> probably okay. Now I'm just getting over a cold, so my snot is definitely not a healthy colour like this. And this is what I've had the last few days. Yep. I've had a cold. Yeah, at the beginning, at the beginning of a cold now. Well, what's happening now is that um, the, the, you're bringing in a lot of water, that more mucus is being made and more water is being retained. These liquids show how your snot and mucus can be lots of different colours. So what can we tell about someone from looking at their mucus? You can tell whether they're sick, uh, what kind of food they like to eat, what their occupation is, and even where they live. Really? You yes. can tell all that? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? What can you tell me about my body from looking at mine? Well, we're going to have to pick some out. Are you game for that? Yeah, well up Okay, for that. <laughs> let's go. So I'm taking a good sample of my snot on this sterile swab. And now, mucus from my lungs. Oh. <coughs> this is even making me sick. <coughs> Sorry, but it is all in the name of medical research. Okay. See, it's a little bit yellow. Yeah. It's not bad, but there are flecks yeah. of grey as well. Yeah. So, it's time to get the results from all of my sticky mucus and snot. So what can you tell from looking at this? If you look on the screen, the mucin is very thick and extended. So it's done what it's supposed to do, like flypaper. It's trapped things. Mm -hmm. It's trapped a lot of soot particles. Obviously, you live in a big city. So it's done a great job, actually. It's done what it's supposed to do. It looks like some pollen in there, actually, as well. Yeah, that's, so that running some... Yeah, pollen. and if you're riding a bike to work or walking or something, you're going to take it in quicker. A lot of it, more than I would, just walking. But, but it doesn't mean I shouldn't cycle. No, absolutely not, because you've seen the mucus has trapped it. It's actually got trapped in the mucin, and you've coughed it up. So the mucus in my body is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's trapped all the things that could be causing me disease, and then I've been able to cough it up and get rid of it. <laughs> So snot is amazing. It's vital for keeping you alive, and best of all, there's nothing wrong with eating it. The only problem I have is going to be harvesting enough to start my restaurant. Son, stop eating it! Oh, sorry. Time to catch up with another outpatient, 10-year-old Amelia. Hi. Animal-loving Amelia has a back condition called scoliosis. Scoliosis is where your spine is curved. Amelia had two magnetic rods put into her back when she was six. These helped to straighten her spine. This week I have an appointment at the hospital um, for my three monthly rod le lengthening. Amelia goes to Sheffield Children's Hospital to see orthopaedic surgeon Mr Cole, who is a spine specialist. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. So, we're going to pop this on here. 
The doctor's put a special machine on my back and it makes quite a funny whirring noise. This makes the magnets in my back start to turn. The doctors only extend my rods three millimeters at a time. I can't feel anything while the rods are being lengthened, except the machine is cold on my back. That's it? Yeah. Three, mil three millimeters taller. Amelia is then measured by nurse Sarah. Okay, as tall as you can. To see how much she has grown since her last visit. So, 133.2 last time, 137 today. Mm -hmm. I've grown by nearly four centimetres. <laughs> now I'm going to have my fometric scan. Stripes on first, Amelia. A fometric scan is a special 4D image that allows the doctors and nurses to monitor the shape of Amelia's spine and how it is changing. So it shows where your shoulder blades are and shoulders and whether you're symmetrical and things like that. That's it, done. Well done, Amelia, thank you. The trick scan is great because I get to see that my back is getting straighter. And the good news is the doctors are happy with Amelia's scan too. We'll see her again when we join her at school. Bye, see you next time.